Heavenly Father, as we gather tonight, please be with our community as well as our state and our world. Please comfort those who are mourning. Please heal those who are ailing. Lord, we ask that you watch over this meeting as we make the best decisions for our community. We ask all this in your name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which I stand, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Roll call, please. President John Holton. Here. Vice President David Faulkner. Here. Board Member Stephanie Faulkner. Here. Board Member Kenneth Tulane. Here. Board Member Harold Shaw. Here. Board Member Patricia Mann. Here. Okay, we have quorum. We will continue. Uh, item four, citizen participation. Good afternoon. Um, I have two things. Uh, number one, I would like to uh, first talk about um, the idea of the citizens on patrol. I think it's a great idea. Um, but what I also would like to see happen is um, I would like to see a campaign that is like a see something, say something, or like a uh, neighborhood watch, you know, something where we can actually put out to the community, like, you know, that it, it is okay to to call the police if you do see something that is, you know, deemed suspicious. So I think that that should be something that you guys should entirely consider uh, to at least put out to the community. Um, on the other end, too, I also um, I wanted to ask a question about uh, about the agenda, particularly because. Um, at the last council meeting, there was a, um, I think there was a, uh, an application that was placed, and it was put in there um, where the council couldn't vote on anything until it came for you guys, but I don't, I don't see anything on here that discusses uh, taking in any application. So we want to make sure that you know, we're diligent in, in taking applications and, and, and make sure we're going to, you know, to make sure that you know, we're keeping our committee filled. So just those two things, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Item five, approval of meeting minutes from the regular meeting of April 6, 2022. I move that we approve the meeting minutes for April 6, 2022 as written. Second. I have a motion from board uh, member Faulkner, seconded by Vice President Faulkner. All in favor, raise your right hand. Opposed? Meeting minutes of the regular meeting of April 6, 2022 passed. Uh, item 6A, presentation and discussion on crime control and pre prevention district financial reports and fiscal year 2021-2020-2021 audit from Ms. Tina. Um, President, I need to go make a copy of the financial audit. I've got to do that. So if you, if you can move on to the next item, A, and I should be come back by then. Okay, so move. Okay, so we'll just come back to 6A. Is that what you're saying? I'm sorry. Just if come you back can to just the... move to item A, and I'll have copies of the financial audit. Oh, 7A? Okay. Okay. Okay, item 7A, discussion and possible action on board member attendance and membership status. Um, this was put on the agenda mainly because uh, we wanna make sure that we have a 
good solid representation during meetings and during events. Uh, you know, I mean, we're, we're not a big board and, you know, we're usually pretty good at having representation on things we sign up for or things we volunteer for. Uh, but, you know, just, you know, doing the outside stuff is great, but we have to make sure we have the same support in our meetings and have everybody here because that's the main reason of having a full board is to get multiple and varying opinions and input. Uh, when it's just the same people at the same meetings all the time, you get the same input and, the, you know, same thoughts. And like I said, that's the reason, you know, we, you know, we need to have a full board uh, actively participating all the time. Uh, since we're on this subject, uh, uh, the, we did get an application. The issue is, is we voted and approved the resignation of um, Carrie uh, at our last meeting. Uh, that was supposed to have been put, hmm? that was supposed to have been put on the city council's agenda. It did not end up on city council's agenda for them to approve. Therefore, technically, we don't have that opening yet. So even though we have an application by, again, technicality, that's why it's not on our agenda. Uh, so as soon as... Well, actually, so it was placed on council's agenda last week. So they did accept uh, Ms. Roberts' resignation <laughs> at last week's meeting. So we should have placed that on there tonight. Um, I guess that was just a staff error that we didn't put that on there. Tonight. Okay. But under this item where you're talking about or to this eviction status, I do think it's important to talk about um, currently this is a seven member board, and I know you have currently six appointed members, and you now have the one vacancy. But we also need to talk about attendance because um, I know this is when you're here tonight, but we do have that you've been absent for the last six meetings in a row. So I don't know if this board has ever had a formal discussion about attendance, but like our city charter now says, if the council member has three consecutive absences, they're deemed, you know, council needs to vote to declare their seat vacant if they fail to resign. And there are several other of our boards, commissions, and committees that now have bylaws and more rules in place that are following that same issue. Because I don't know that they are we're talking about attendance. So I just think going forward, you know, that's something that we need to figure out because um, it is a, you know, really important. Yeah, I'm, honestly, off the top of my head, I don't remember if that is in our bylaws. It's not. That's what you're saying. Need to just so, you know, it, it would be something we would have to probably put on a upcoming agenda and add to our bylaws. Because like I said, you know, I'm my, my main thing is to have is, you know, a full board every meeting, you know, because like I said, you know, that's, that's the way you get, you know, the diversity of the board working the way it's supposed to, you know, the different opinions, the different experience, the different, you know, feelings, you know, whatever. I, mean, I understand that everybody may not always be here every single week, but I do feel like if you have multiple consecutive absences, that could be an issue for us. Um, so what we will do, because the way that's worded, I guess we'll put on the next agenda for you to consider applications for the one vacancy you know we have. Mm -hmm. um, we have received one application. Um, so like I said, I apologize that wasn't on there tonight for you to on. The council did accept that resolution, okay. so you do now have one vacancy. That is not on last week's agenda. It yeah. was. No. The discussion to appoint a member to crime control yeah. was on the agenda, but since Carrie's resignation had not been accepted yet, um, it was not discussed. So it still so hasn't gone to the council. council. <laughs> it's going on the up, and that's the conversation oh, we had. It's going on the upcoming yeah. agenda. But well, we do have the application. Yeah, we do have the application. We have an opening. Right. So. As soon as the opening is. is so. Okay. But it was supposed to be on here tonight for you all to 
consider applications and make a recommendation to council at their next meeting. That's the council process. Right. Okay. I'm curious how they got on there and did the so, I put that on there. That, because I did not remember that they hadn't accepted the resignation already. Oh. So that was. But isn't it protocol for the applications to come to the board first for recommendation? Okay. Okay. So moving forward, we can't make. It's on the agenda. We can't make decisions about this tonight. About, about putting into place, um, maybe falling into line with the current yeah. rule. Yeah. Because it says discussion about actual board member attendance and membership status that allows you to Yeah, we can, we can make a motion to add it to our bylaws. And so, if I remember correctly, the charter states after three absences, the, the reason the charter review made the change was it stated after three absences, but there was no action to follow up. And so the new, the newest charter review put in place a vote by city council to decide whether or not that council member needed to resign or was. So it used to say three unexcused right. absences. <coughs> and there was always the back and forth about who determines what's excused and what's unexcused. So the last charter would be decided. It doesn't matter whether you had a good excuse or not. If you have three consecutive absences um, and you fail to resign, then they can vote to remove. Okay. So that, you know, I feel like so that's going so to be that kind of step probably needs to be the right for all okay. of or it's gotcha. going Okay. So we can just do the same. Right. So I move that we put in place um, in line with the charter that if there's three absences and the member does not resign, the board can take it to a vote. A second. Okay, motion from uh, board member Faulkner, uh, seconded by Mrs. Mann to adopt the current charter uh, reading for meeting attendance. Uh, and for it to be added to the bylaws of the Kirby Crime Control and Prevention District Board. Uh, Secretary, please take roll. President Faulkner. Alton. Yes. Vice President Faulkner. Yes. Board Member Faulkner. Yes. Board Member Tuline. Yes. Board Member Shaw. Yes. Board Member Mann. Yes. Can I say something? On this, hmm? Kenneth, I value your input as a police officer, ex police officer, and I know you're one of the founding members here. But I do value your input, and I would like to see you. We're glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Well, work has really gotten in my way, but I'm going to try to work. Thank you. Sir. Okay. I was that before you watch that, I want to go back to the fact that I placed that item on the last agenda. So mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. I was going through vacancies, but I forgot that the council had accepted the resignation of Carthage Roberts and that this board had not had a chance to review applications. So that was on me. So it is coming up on the 26th um, for. Council to accept that resignation. Okay. And then again, because we don't have on your agenda tonight, you can look at that application you all have and then make a recommendation. Okay. To council that and four. Thank you, folks. Uh, Any ready? Okay, we're going to go back to 6A uh, presentation and discussion on crime control and prevention district financial reports and fiscal year 2021. 
both in board. I apologize for that. Um, no not having a copy. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna go over is um, the financial statement for um, yeah, the financial statement for April. So your beginning balance for April is $112,418.55. You had a total deposit of 6,612.61 and withdrawals were $636.27. So that leaves you an ending balance of 118,394.89 at the end of April. As you will look at the back of that sheet, there's just a couple checks that are still outstanding. So um, as of April, those are the only two checks that are still outstanding that has not cleared the bank yet. Okay, so that is the um, April financial statement. Do y'all have any questions about that? Okay, so now I'm going to move on to um, the 2020-2021 financial audit. Um, this is this paper that I just gave you. If you look at page 70, You'll see the total assets for 2021 is $109,031. And again, it goes all the way down to your total liabilities and firm balance of $109,031. If you'll turn over to the back of the page, um, you'll see that taxes collected, sales tax collected was $98,917 and then $86 in interest and then $494 in miscellaneous. The miscellaneous was mostly um, um, donations that were received last fiscal year. Your total revenues were $99,497. Then you'll see your expenditures. Um, the salaries with a $1,712, total supplies with 200, contract services with 9,725, and your total miscellaneous is $7,014, and your capital outlay for 2021 was $64,164. So your total expenditures were $82,815. So that gives you a difference between, between revenues and expenditures of $16,682 to the good. And then your um, fund balance at, at the beginning of the year was $92,349. So if you add the two together, your ending fund balance for the year of 2021 in September was $109,031. So that was the financial audit um, for 2020-2021. And of course, the, the balance we have right now is uh, doesn't reflect any of the the amended budget stuff yet, right? Um, that on this other sheet that we're going to talk about budget. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I jumped the gun. I'm sorry. Um, That's fine. I jumped the gun. Okay. So, any question? Any questions on the uh, financial report and fiscal year audit? Mm -hmm. Now, back to 7B, discussion and direction on fiscal year 2022-2023 budget. Okay. Um, do you have a, a picture? I mean, you have a budget, which is a front page, and that includes the, the new item that we just amended at the last meeting. Um, any item that were added or changed, it's all on your amend your last column, which is your amended budget for 21-22, um, giving you the ending balance of 43,641. So if you turn to this back page, it kind of gives you um, 
what we spent in 2019, 2020, and then 2020, 21. So it kind of gives you what we actually spent on those items. And then it tells you the current budget. So our current budget is what's on this budget report. And then if you go to year, year to date actual, that's how much we spent so far as of May right now. Okay. So um, we just need to go down and um, this is what we're going to be talking about if we want to make changes to the budget for next fiscal year, if we want to add or take away somewhere. Um, I do recommend that the office supplies, it's always been $200 since the organization has, um, you know, started. Mm -hmm. And... You know, I think that we need to at least leave it at five or six hundred dollars. I think two hundred is kind of low. So if if y'all are okay with that, okay. On the front page on the amended office supplies, it says six hundred. Is that correct? Mm hmm Okay. Mm hmm Yes, sir. So I'm I'm still looking at the back page here. Okay. So um, if y'all are willing to leave the office supplies at 600, I think, um, like I said, we had to amend the budget for that. If you don't use it, you don't use it, but it's better than having to do an amendment on that. Um, the community program service, you know, that budget at 5,000, that is where y'all do um, the uh, junior academy, um, your Santa uh, cookies with Santa, all that comes out of that, and that's at five thousand okay. dollars. I, I have a quick question on the community uh -huh. service program, and I guess Monique, my our chief, might be the best ask. Uh, as far as I know, we've had you know uh, recommendations for you know more involvement, you know citizens, you know you know possibly the the COP program and things like that. Is that something that would come out of the community service programs? Or, yeah, or would it have to be a separate line item? It could come out of there, but um, to keep it separate, my recommendation would be come up with budget for the COP program and then do a line item specifically for that. So that it's not mixed in with those other two possessions. Okay. If you want to start right now on the current fiscal year, we could use that money. But if next year, for next fiscal year. Separate. Right. Okay. Which again, I'm I'm kind of jumping the gun because you know I know that's coming up, you know, but I was just kind of trying to figure out how something like that, like I said, if, if it needed to be separated or could it be, you know, would it be lumped in? Okay, I'm sorry, Tina, go ahead. May I ask you to um, say what COP is? Because we're on recording in case oh, people don't know what it is. On patrol. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, the equipment maintenance and software, I think that's going to be okay, but um, something to consider if software is ever to be paid out of crime control you know, for anything that y'all get new, that's software maintenance, you're gonna have to increase that. But as, as of right now, I think you're okay, just in future. Um, the rent is okay, publication is okay. Um, we do have to keep the publication because we do have to advertise it in the paper. I think it's gonna be okay now that it's just kind of, um, because now that we're with Express News, I don't know if it could be more or not. So we just have to kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, legals and bond and insurance. Um, there's, I think, about two or three of y'all that are going to be up for renewal this year. So, um, you know, you're going to use some of that money. So legal fees, sometimes you use that money, sometimes you don't. So I, I would leave that alone. Your auditor, I don't know if it's going to be more than $2,000. I have not um, 
Right now, it shows nine hundred dollars year to date, but we haven't gotten the second part of the bill yet. So that should it should pop, it goes to eighteen hundred, uh, probably eighteen hundred dollars. Um, that's something that we may have to change for next fiscal year if they do go up on the audit. We just never know until um, time gets closer. Um, now the uh, election expense that would only have to come up whenever y'all decide to renew another five years of the um, of the organization. Okay. Uh, the training, we have it at $10,000. I'm sure uh, Chief would like to still keep it at that. Is that true? Okay. And then police operation, I would still leave it at, um, we had it at, I believe, yeah, 5000 originally. I would put that back at 5000 The only reason why we reduced that is to cover the operation, I mean, the office supplies that we had to amend the budget for. So I would put that back at 5000 if I were y'all. The K-9 officer, you won't have that anymore. Um, Jake is gone, so you won't have that. So that'll be zero. As far as capital outlay, these are the items that we currently have on the budget right now. And I'm not sure. Um, I'm, Chief, do you have anything other than what Teresa has? Is that the, the evidence? That is, is the a, drug terminator. The drug terminator. No, it's not on there, but yeah. this is what she's yes. requesting. Yes, um, there's one more thing, but I did not bring that up um, just yet. And it's a machine that actually tracks gunshots. And it's to be posted, it can be moved, it can go into water towers, um, and it will give me a pinpointed location of where the gunshots are coming from, and it even tracks it. Um, instead of waiting for someone to call or not call, we would get real-time data. Whether it, and keep in mind, whether it's fireworks or gunshots, um, it's going to tell us whatever that is that we go and act on. Um, if it's not happening in our city, then I can at least relieve our citizens to know, hey, this is happening outside the city. I think it's a good tool for us to have. Um, if it gives us some peace of mind, especially in citizens. Um, but I do not have that quote just yet. I'm still trying to get a hold of the company. Um, I've sent them two emails so far, and I haven't got any return just yet. Okay, so that is an item that she has um, to request for next year. The other item I have is a drug terminator. And um, I'm going to let Teresa. I can do it. Um, so what it is is basically um, one of the things that we're going and doing right now is we're purging our evidence. In order for us to get in compliance with best practices so we can move forward, that needs to be done immediately. We have things in there from the 1980s. So what we have to do is purge the evidence room. We have 24 boxes right now that have that are full of drugs. Um, what we do is we, and with Teresa's help, who's been leading this off, we go through each and every one of those items. Um, we verify that there's not an open case on them. If there's not an open case or it's been dismissed with whatever involving the drugs, we have to go through Daryl, which is our judge. Uh, we get a destruction order. It comes back. If it's allowed to be destroyed, at that point we begin the process. We don't have a machine that destroys narcotics. We can't just throw it in the, in the trash can because then it'll be, a, it'll be just something dangerous in our hand. Um, there's a process of destroying that. Um, other agencies do have it, but we're out there with so whenever they have a destruction order, whether that's twice a year, we have to kind of hopefully fall around and, and, and they would allow us. We have to use someone else. This would prevent all that. Um, we can destroy it ourselves. We don't have to wait on anyone else and also bring other agencies if they don't have the mission. So, um, if I, that she, she would have a better understanding of that because she's actually seen it happen. Do you remember how it went when you went to uh, It is a drug or terminator. Basically, it's a machine that connects to a big 50-gallon drum. And it you heat it up, and it just burns. And yes, it reduces the heat. Um, so not the heat, but the, the smells, the, the smoke, that kind of thing. Um, 
Congress has it, when press has it. Yeah. But once again, it does come down to, you know, I've got 24 legal size boxes that are ready to go. Oh. They're not going to take us to do that. So it is beneficial for us to continue on. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going to ask this to Chief and Teresa and to Kenneth, because Kenneth was also saying, you know, because he used to be with Wincrest and he was talking about their having one. Uh, as far as after the stuff is burned, I'm sure there's going to be some residue, ash, something left over. Does that have to be like, no, it is can it like be, a hazmat it can disposal be, no. deal? or No, it can be actually dumped. Um, I'm a part of the evidence tax of Texas and they have an email and there's other agencies around the state of Texas. And it is just as simple as once you fill that drum, it burns it completely. Um, they don't suggest putting pipes or, you know, scales or anything like that, but that can be destroyed manually. Um, and it's just as simple as buying another drum, a 50, 50 gallon drum. The, the droves you felt that is actually burning there, almost decenerates it. There's yeah. nothing left of it. Okay. It's hard, any very, very little. No, no residue, no nothing. Uh, totally decenerates it. So but it also does it in a way where we're not exposed. Yes. Because that's the big thing is why not just get a drum and put it all in there? That's yeah. the common sense. We can't do that with drums. So it, so it has its own filtration, yes. so it's it, not it, exhausting. It, oh, okay. And that's what all this is. So. Okay. I have the entire printout that I will email to you. Um, But this is coming up on our, we're, we're beginning to think about our budget for next year. For next year. Okay. And so as you, it, as more like, details become available and costs and we we'll look yeah. at everything, then we'll make some I decisions. I believe she's all we need. Um, and I don't think surprisingly, most of the perspective that I thought it would be. Um, but yes, as far as the other details that I was just describing, it's gonna, I need a little bit more time. I've been, Trying to get a little more for six months. And I don't know any other company that does have what I'm discussing. Very good. 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 So the budget timeline we have, um, of course, today we had the regular meeting to discuss the 22-23 budget. On June 8th, I will need to post in the news newspaper about the 22-23 budget meeting in the North Herald, it still Northeast Herald? Express News. And that will be posting the date of June 21st. <clears throat> So June 21st will be the public hearing. On our proposed budget, correct? Yes. Which means we, okay. And if you have to post it June 8th, that probably means we need to meet again. Before that. Before that. Mm -hmm. They don't decide tonight, do they need? We need for the 21st. Okay. Oh, yeah. So on the 29th, um, I will be posting the the budget for the public hearing for the city council for their meeting date on the 14th. So on the 21st, we will vote on that budget. So that way on July 14th, the city council will be given that budget. And I can email you that as well, the time frame that, yeah. that I've set up to where I can get it posted. Please do. We just need one public hearing or two? Just one. One. So we got that the 21st. So then we have to be, 
we have to be done by the 21st. Yeah, we have to be all in and all done by the 21st. So do we need to have another meeting this month? Because it usually takes us a couple of meetings. I think we need more discussion on this. Yeah, out our budget. yeah. I just, I, I mean, think we can, we can discuss this right now. Right. And I think what we're doing is kind of going ev over everything. As we go over everything, we can discuss it, but yes. the parts that we're lacking or the things that you just brought to us, we need prices for those. Yeah. So we can. Um, so in looking at this, and we just came off the Easter egg hunt. Is that something that we want to continue for next year? Because we thought, of, you know, there was talk about us taking it over well, as a committee, or I mean, as a board. And if that's the case, we probably need to increase just a little bit the funds in the well, community. More than a little, I think, right? Because everything is going to be higher, even for the Santa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the community yeah. community service programs, right? And then if we right now we're, we're at five thousand, mm -hmm. and if we keep Easter, we're gonna need more. And what are you thinking, like? Five hundred. Just five hundred. Oh, I was, I was gonna say seven thousand. Me too. Well, I'm looking at the year-to-date actual total. Yeah. And it's only at fifteen hundred. We haven't had the junior academy yet. Right. And um, Moving in the, I don't think you spent oh, anything on the Easter egg this, this time. No, this Not time because we were we were testing the water to see if we were going so you to. Have to keep, keep like we also talked about being trying. more involved in the center parade, you know. Right. So that's going to be I mean, we're, a little more expenditure on that on that end, too. And we don't we won't have the line item for Jake anymore. No. I like seven thousand. That's you know, just to be good. just yep. to be safe, because you know part of that is our blue Santa, yep. and you know if there's cost of that. Yeah. You know, cost of that is going to be outrageous this year. Well, so, and if there's a shortfall, I mean, in years past there have been shortfalls. Last year was a good year with donations. Am I correct, Chief or Monique for blue Santa? Yeah. yeah. But the year prior, during COVID, was really yeah, it was pretty rough. Not as, yeah. Okay. Um, as far as if we want to change an amount, do we need to like bring it as a motion and vote on it? No, so for your next fiscal year budget, this, this sheet that's on the back of the budget is where we should be going down right now and writing in numbers. Right. And you're just kind of by consensus deciding what you want those numbers right. to be. Okay. Okay. Because when we meet again, we're gonna have to bring you a draft budget for next year. Okay. Okay. So. So we're saying seven thousand. Seven thousand for, for community. Yeah. So you wanna make that seven thousand? Yeah. And the other thing that I wanted to ask Chief about is the, um, the police officer training program. Do you have enough money for, with that? Do or do you need more money for that? Training that? Line item. Yeah. I have raised it. So are you talking about the training budget? Yeah. Um, I have raised it. I think it was before the six or five to 10. Um, and I think um, if you're asking we should move it up, I will always say yes. <laughs> but at the same time, don't we have to also consider, and I don't mean to cut you off, but in the items that we just are just we just now approved, isn't there something else that we were looking at adding to the next year's budget? Right? Was it software or Funded to pay for that equipment and buy those license for two years, and right. already in this budget. Right. This is the next budget. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just I'm just thinking because we we said that we were only going to purchase the software for two years, right? And then look at our next budget. 
Yeah. I mean, I would hate to only purchase the software for two years and then two years comes mm -hmm. and they don't have the software for all this wonderful equipment. Okay. Well, you have to wait until you, uh, you got, you got to wait until it runs out anyway. For the next two years. Yes. Right. You can't allocate it that far okay. out. Okay. That goes beyond the life of the district. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. So back to your question you said. Did you, were you talking about upping the training budget? Yeah, what yeah because last last year went from five to ten, and then and what I did is this year I had asked the for the general budget to up it from I think it was at five or six also to ten as well. So I went up on the training budget, and I think that was the reason why we with every bit of leadership training that I've sent the guys, every bit of extra training that I've sent them, this has been much needed. It's been helpful. So, well, I'm like you. I, I want more money for things like that. You know. So if we're keeping track, we've added two thousand, and we still have three thousand dollars that we don't need to use for the canine program. Right. So that very well could go. Yeah, the from Terminator, which is how much? It's six thousand. Round that up to six thousand. Round it up to six thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 How much are, do you know, probably, I don't know if you have the numbers in front of you, how much is our training budget to right now for this past year? We're down by $2 million. We're down to about around that, that amount. We don't have one of the classes approved yet. And what was your budget? Uh, out, of, out of crime control, it was a total of 10. And as well, you said, are you two hundred something? so far? But I've requested more for training in like September, October, November oh, right. that have not okay. been approved. Okay, that's right. So we're at, we're down to two thousand, but then these are approved for later on in the year before the change for the next fiscal year. So there are trainings coming that we've been using it. So if Ms. Bennett, if you're asking me if we should up it, absolutely. But I didn't request this time since I'm asking a little bit more from the general budget. Probably that if you guys want to raise it, you guys can. Raise it by a thousand at least. At least. At least. Because we still have, I mean, no. even even at the 6000 for the incinerator, I mean, we're looking at money coming in monthly. Yeah. $6,000 a month, basically. Right. Roughly. Right. So... Are we in consensus to increase the training fund by a thousand? Yeah. Yeah. It's up to y'all. Yeah. We said a thousand dollars. Yeah. To make it eleven thousand. If, if for whatever reason, because right now we, we, we did this and we had a limited amount of officers, we've been down five this year. So if we get fully staffed for this next following year, then it'll go a long way. And I, if for whatever reason I say, okay, I need more because I have more young um, people coming in, or I need more because of whatever reason training that might be required or I think they might be helpful for, I'll, I'll come back and ask. Okay. No problem. Very good. Okay. Where do we leave? I, I'm all the way down, so that was the end of it. Okay. Um, so, okay, so the K9 is zeroed out. Chief operations is staying at 46. No, it's at five. Five. Okay. I'm sorry. Didn't we say yes, chief was operations five. was five? Yes. Yeah. Did you get that, Tina? Okay. The chief operations uh -huh. is five thousand. Um, we're gonna go back to five thousand. Okay. 
<coughs> Very good. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is all the capital stuff. And the audit may go up. The audit may go up. We'll just let the you know, public, have the publication expense. Can we find out about that before? The publication Probably expense? Should increase that because it's more than the Herald. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where's that at? Lost it. It's at 300 now. I mean, could you give us an estimate of what you're thinking? Make it six just to be on the safe side. I don't think it should be. It depends on how many publications we have to do. Well, if we do a budget amendment, you have to publish it. Yeah. But we have to do one for the budget. I mean, does it cost that much to? Mm -hmm. Yes. How much does it cost us to put it in the? Did it cost us to put it in the Herald? Doesn't matter. We're, we're no, I'm just, I'm just, just kind of trying much. to get an idea. We can go with five. So, uh, are we consensus to raise the publication expense to five hundred? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, auditor, you know, we just we don't know about that yet. So, that's kind of a wait and see mm -hmm. kind of deal. Software maintenance, we don't know anything about that. So it looks like <clears throat> it looked like on the auditor they've kind of gone up two hundred dollars, you know, from twenty to twenty one, and we have it budgeted two thousand. If anything, if you want to add two hundred to it just to be on the safe side, that's what I would do if I were y'all. Okay, I'm good with that. To make it twenty two hundred to raise that the auditor to cover the audit auditing auditor. Yes. Two hundred, and did we already agree for the office supplies to be six hundred? Yes. Okay. Monique, our rent's not going up, is it? I'm sorry. Our rent's not going up, is it? No. <laughs> And Chief, are we are we good on um, the other line items that we have listed here? Vehicles, vehicle equipment. These are all things in the past. The training simulator. Is there anything a software upgrade or anything that we might foresee? No, the software upgrades that are listed here come every uh, quarterly. So we get those in. I plug it in, and we get new um, bug fixes, or that's all taken care of by the company itself. Okay. It comes with the equipment. And the same with the speed sign? The speed sign, unfortunately, had to be set back. Uh, when it's a plug in, and, and I saw little sparks and stuff, oh. so I sent it back. Um, I have been in contact with him. They did receive it, and after two weeks after waiting for it or some news, I told him to go ahead and send me another one. They complied, so I'm just waiting for the new one to come in. So I can finally put it on the street. Okay. <clears throat> While you're standing there. <clears throat> What about officer's equipment? Are we good there? Um, the only other thing that came up, we recently sent um, Lieutenant Alonzo to taser certification class um, to get all of our officers certified. We have plenty of taser cartridges for our, our use here, but for training, each officer would need two, so we would run down. So I probably have to look into some training or some taser cartridges extra ones. Can you get us a cost on that? Okay. Okay. And you said you have enough tasers because they haven't been. We yeah, we've already purchased all those new tasers this last fiscal year. I think it was. Um, that's not the issue. It's just getting them training. Um, the training or the certification requires two cartridges to be spent, and that would come out of our own pocket. So if we use all those all those cartridges that we currently have. Um, to each officer that will take the training to get recertified, which is under two years, we would run out. So we just need to buy some extra ones for the training. So we have that. So you'll give us that cost. Yes, ma'am. 
Chief, I was just thinking about something. Uh, you were talking about those um, hot spots. They were melting on y'all and stuff I didn't like know that. How the, um, the okay. Okay. Yeah, the hot spots are cool. Yeah, the they're older though, but this one is helping us get those replaced. So. Any other questions? And weapons? Weapons. Weapons. Are we okay with all those? Um, so far, so good. We still have the same 9 um, The As far as the future goes, which you guys might not have to get into just yet, we are, some of the stuff that's in the evidence room are actually weapons that we've had for years probably 20, 30 years. So we're going through the process of going through all of them and they will be sold eventually. If they, if they can't get hold of an owner, they go to destruction or we go and send them on an auction or we sell them to a uh, company. And those funds will go for weapons. That's why I have those things. The future, that look, we're looking at red dots and things like that for our sidearms um, to help with accuracy, to help with seeing at night. Um, but, you know, nothing for weapons right now. Belts, vests, attachments, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You're good. Belts, vests, everything is good. So far, so good. Since uh, I believe Chief Voice, I guess, got in prime control, all the extra belts and things like that, they have gone through some winter, we still have some. So as people come in, they can get a brand new belt. Um, if we don't have the belt, then we get, especially if they're a larger gentleman, um, we do get an extra one. Um, but we're good to go still with all the equipment. Even we still have brand new flashlights that get issued out. So we're still really good on that inventory. Okay. Good. Good, good. So just to recap, we're going to get from you, we're getting costs of cartridges, the gunshot tracker, and the drug terminator. Incinerator. Incinerator, terminator. Incinerator, she should have. This uh, terminator is about. We're, gonna, we're figuring six thousand dollars. Oh. Do we need an extra barrel though? So oh. barrel will have to be purchased separately. Oh, we can get those. So we can get those diamond dozen. So <laughs> with the freight being sent, his car goes for two hundred ninety-six dollars, and then you go to buy a fifty-five gallon barrel. Which I did not go. Look for that. We can buy. By 55 gallon so drums we, right out here on I 10 <laughs> by the truckload. She's the one that did the research on this year, so it's hot. When we destroy it, it stays in the barrel, right? And until the barrel gets full, then you throw the barrel away itself, correct? Yes. There you go. Okay. Just gotta get back for a minute. Where do you throw the barrel? Huh? Where do you throw the barrel? Yeah, where do you throw the barrel? I'm going to buy it. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's right. What do you right. If it's. If it's Ash. If it's just ash and it's not toxic or anything like that, why can't we just toss it in a mulch sure pile? Hot. Mm -hmm. says hot ash. You just toss it, like, toss it in a mulch mm -hmm. pile. There's pictures of the medical items. Like I said, we definitely have some of those items that are going to be used. Um, this particular one is the best one they have out there. Just like vaporize it. Um, price will stay. This particular company has been forthcoming and immediately jumping on and paying money and stuff. The rest of them will try to slow and if not respond at all. And you said so it was 50. What did you say it was 52? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Fifty-two ninety-six. So if we budgeted fifty-five, should we should be safe. I thought we said six. Yeah, six. Okay. Expenses. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So now we're waiting for is the shot locator and cartridges. Correct. Good deal. Any, any other questions, comments? No. Okay. Budget? Okay.
So, um, so Tina, you've got everything we talked about yes. as far as changing and everything. Okay. Very good. All right. Um, do we need to? Nothing, nothing until we get a draft, right? Okay. Very good. Thank you, folks. Thank you, Chief, Monique, everybody. Okay, moving on. Item 7C, discussion of possible action to select a movie for summer movie night at the pool. Board member Faulkner. So Teresa received an email and forwarded it to me, and I got in contact. Um, we do have a 25% discount because we've used the company before. And so depending on the movie we vote on tonight, um, it can range from $435 to $465, depending on the popularity. But we do have the 25% off code that I have written on this scribbled piece of paper that I will get to Mo Miss Monique at the end so we don't lose it. But um, what I did was I took the, f instead of bringing in a presentation, I took the four pages, actually it was eight, the first eight pages of family-friendly movies um, so that we can get the application filled out because we are coming up on a time crunch. We are not allowed to advertise this until we pay for the licensing. So we need to make this decision about which movie and then get the ball rolling on purchasing the licensing so we can advertise because our date is set June 15th. It was a Wednesday. June fifteenth, and then June twenty, the Wednesday after that as well, right? And she said, right now, almost all the movies were available. That was as of last week when I talked to her. Um, but she said it would be, you know, the sooner the better. So if we choose a top one and then a backup, probably tonight, and then Monique can move forward with sending in that application. Well. I'm 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 gonna Boo. Boo. I, I am gonna I am gonna speak oh, from my God. grandpa experience <laughs> because I have a five year old granddaughter and I can honestly tell you I have seen ninety five percent of every movie on this list. Uh, I can honestly tell you in Canto, which is one of the movies that's, that's on here, it's a relative. I think it's only like a it's, it's brand within new. a year that it came out. It's a hold on, really good movie. Wait, there's too, too much talking. Uh, uh, yeah, Encanto is like it's a fabulous movie. I, I, that's me, I mean, and that's my, what I thought because we made the posters last time that said "Be silent in the pool," but if you can sing, yeah. then or I mean, well, Encanto can they sing. can sing Encanto with the movie. Has, so many sing-along songs. I mean, me and my granddaughter sing them through the. I've seen I've seen Encanto probably seven times. Uh, sing to I've seen uh, multiple times. Uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog. It's a decent movie, but it's very. Uh, my five-year-old granddaughter got bored with it because it was too childish. It was too babyish. How about Coco? Yeah. I agree with the Coco because I look at my grandkids, either know they're two or three, and they're 12 or 13, and they're still watching it. Yeah. And I come home and I say, what do y'all still got this on the TV for? Isn't there nothing else better to play? No, Paw Paw. Yeah. It, 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 it's very hilarious. Co Coco and, and is clean. Yeah, Coco is a good movie. Uh, of course, Finding Nemo, everybody's seen that. Um, uh, the other newest ones that are up here at the top of the list, uh, Soul is one of the newer movies within the past year. It's a good movie, but it's kind of dark for younger kids. Younger kids. The little yeah. kids. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's, 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 got, it's got a lot of dark undertone stuff to it. Very, very serious. Is it? We need seriousness. We need laughter. Yeah. Comedy. Yeah. I just think if you get into like these other pages where it's like yeah. nobody's gonna come out here to see the Wizard of Oz. Nope. Hey. Shrek. Hey. Now come on. Easy with the old stuff. I don't watch those. Come on. I mean, but 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, and they're on TV. I mean, anything that's on TV right now, if you can watch it, it. <laughs> Well, like I said, Encanto, Sing Two, are both those are both good. Uh, Coco is good. Boss uh, Baby, listen to her. Boss, Boss Baby. Baby. Boss Baby, I, I have I have seen that one. Uh, Moana, that is like my granddaughter's go-to. I can't I can Moana is at least twenty times I've seen that. I one. just know a lot of birthday parties of the, is the Moana. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the only reason I'm kind of swaying towards those is because, again, they have a lot of musical stuff. They have a lot of sing-along stuff that, you know, I mean, I, I was just telling Stephanie when she handed this to me a while ago. I was like, oh, Encanto, that's, what, you know, that's the one with, you know, we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you hear all the songs. I, I know all the songs, you know. <laughs> Where's the party? Where's the movie at? The pool. The pool. Fighting me. No. Or Jaws. Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a Jaws. That's like Coco. It's got a whole bunch of music. Yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Anything anything with that, that, that and a great big bowl of popcorn. Yeah. Anything. They're we, good. We can't, have, can't have popcorn in the pool. No. <laughs> Sonic was really good, too. And that would be so long we did. Sonic, the second one just came out. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. Coco, Coco is the one where the skeleton. He goes, he goes back and visits his. Yeah, dead, yeah, 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 okay. Dead yeah, gotcha. Yeah. See, I told you I've seen all these movies. <laughs> so. Um, so I, I, my vote is for Encanto number one and Moana two. No boss, baby. I have no idea what you're talking about. So I, I have to start with her. There's more singing. If we are asking people to be quiet in the swimming pool, at least they can sing. I'm just saying. So, so just so just to review, we do we do have a motion. I didn't move. I just oh. said my suggestion. Oh, your suggestion. I didn't I'm think sorry. we were I'm to sorry. that part yet. I wanted y'all to discuss more. Well, I mean, basically, it seems like we're we're between Encanto. Sing to Moana and Coco. That seems like the the four we're down to. I just I think Coco it, it's good. I agree, but I think it's older. So is Moana. So if we're looking at the newer one, okay. If we're looking at the new ones, it would be Encanto and Sing Two. What if you never saw Sing One? Yeah. Then you better rent it before the pool party. <laughs> like I said, I buy him for my nieces and nephew, but I don't watch him. I'm that I'm that aunt. <laughs> so I move that we rent in Canto, and if it's not available, sing to. Okay, I have a motion from. Board Member Faulkner to rent Encanto as our number one choice if it's not available. Number two choice would be Sing To, and it has been seconded by Board Member Tulane. Any further discussion? Is there a third option, like just in case, or did they say? Do we need, do we need well, a third? Well, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost <laughs> Do you think we need a third option? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. So, no further discussion. Roll, please. President Colton? Yes. Vice President Faulkner? Yes. Board Member Faulkner? Yes. Board Member Shaw? Yes. Board Member Yes. All right. Very good. If something goes haywire, we'll call them up. You need to vote on a new movie. <laughs> if not, can we vote if if something goes wrong to give Monique discretion? to uh, Monique. <laughs> you know where Monique's going. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Jumanji. <laughs> That's a good movie. Which one? First or second? Yeah, first or second. <laughs> All right, moving on. Item 7D, discussion of possible action on establishing a citizens on patrol program. All right, let me go back to one, one quick question because we didn't discuss, are we doing concessions at the movie? I don't oh. know. Did we do it last time? The lifeguard sold, right? right? We, don't, we don't have that anymore. I honestly, I think if it's a community event, it should they should be able to bring their own. I mean, I, I don't see this as a money making event. It's a community event. So that same right, bring right. Stuff. Bring their stuff. Yes, I, I mean that's just my yeah. thought. No, no, no glass. No. Right. No alcohol. Same rules. Yeah. Same, same rules, rules, but they can bring their because we're not in. <laughs> It's not a pro it's not a for profit. It's a community event. Okay. All right. So I just want to make sure it's at least appropriate what we need. All right. Okay. Uh, discussion of possible action on establishing a citizens on patrol program. All right. So we have a Need time to establish a system of patrol. This is typically a 10 week course or 10, 10 week course once a week. Um, and as far as the system of patrol, I need to ask more questions and I haven't had time to do that. I need a little bit more time to get this going with every project I have going on. Um, but I think we should move forward. I think that's something that I didn't feel a long time coming. I'm halfway there. It's just a matter of figuring out if there, I really don't know, but if there is a license that's required or a certification that's required for an individual to be in that. Uh, citizens on patrol vehicle of doing enforcement of any kind. And I would say it was more like they're writing around. Communicating. Yeah. Okay. So I have questions. You might have more input on that. As long as they've been through that class. That's all they need. That's all they need. But you have to have a dedicated officer to teach that class, correct? Yes. And well, uh, any law enforcement Okay. Are you fully staffed right now? How many are you down? Um, we just got two more in, so we're down. Is it two, Miss Monique? I, I, I just, we're down two, but two of them are on train. Thankfully, I'm hoping one of them already has some 15 years of experience, so we might not be on the call. But I need some time to get everything under my belt. We're still behind the very most of the most pass. Um, just totally. Off subject, um, Ms. Monique, I have a question real quick. Uh, board member Tulane uh, needs to go to work. He's supposed to be at work at 8.30. Is, is it okay if he's dismissed from the meeting? Yeah. Okay. Still the board, so you're okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Are you going to acknowledge Roger's question? I thought you retired. I did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Okay. Anyway, continue. Anything else? That's all I have. Okay, so basically, we need to, we're going to allow more investigative time. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So you can just let us know when we need to get it back on the agenda. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, he had a hand up. Okay, never mind. No, no, I don't do that. Okay. Hey, item eight. Hey. Council liaison, discussion between the board and the liaison from the Kirby City Council. Well, I think this is my last 
But great way of working with y'all. Y'all are doing a hell of a job. Y'all keep doing what you're doing for the community. Uh, that's all that matters. Also, it's uh, National Police Week. So you see an officer, tell them they're doing a good job. No matter if it's our officer or any other officer. And uh, our mayor pro tip, when it comes time to discuss what y'all discuss, she's going to do it for me. That's why she's here. Okay. And it's going to be up to Kim where it's going to be your next liaison. Okay. But I'll still be around if y'all have any questions. You know, I got the expertise on this, so if y'all need anything, let me know. Thank you. Not Thank you. That. Thank you, Joe. I'll let you know at home, Mr. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Item 9A, uh, request announcements. Request by presiding officer and board members for items to be placed on future board agendas and announcements on district events of community interest and or community interest of the board. Uh, we'll start with uh, Mr. Shaw. Not yet, sir. Nothing yet. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Mann. No. Mr. Faulkner. I have a vacancy for the add on to the next agenda. That's that tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, I'll do announcements about that. So I'll go okay. last if y'all. Okay. okay. So I got a message for us to help out tomorrow to set up. Yeah, I got a I got a I got a nasty gram about that too. So, <laughs> so I can leave it up. I'll be leaving early. So you are so we can I will be there. I don't think she will, but I will be there. Do you have the details on that? What time did you want him to meet the things? Well, I think Monique's going to. Yeah. She's going to go over all that here shortly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that, That's all I have. This is Faulkner. So we need to schedule our next meeting yes. early enough in June because the public hearing is on the 21st. I wish we had had a chance to talk to. Kenneth about his schedule to see if we needed a Tuesday or Wednesday. Well, I, I think it's it's not so much the day, it's the, the time. The time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which normally our meetings, I think because tonight we had all the budget stuff, our meeting was a little longer than it normally is. Well, it's going to be just as much. I don't think it'll be as long because we won't. I don't think we'll be going item by item and discussing each item by item. It'll be more of, you know, a, a run through and. Okay. So do we want to schedule it? Yes. Uh, so anybody can bring it up. Yeah. Hmm? Thank you, sir. It's fun working with you. It's the first Tuesday. The seventh. I would I would like to do it the first Tuesday, the seventh, in case we have to come back for anything. And plus movie nights here. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. I'd like to okay. I'd like to then I'll, that's I'll that's my opinion. That. I'd yeah. like to do it on the seventh. That way we can make sure we get our budget done. And in case we do have to come back for anything, we can come back the following Four. week. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let me just tell you on Okay. So we have standing meetings on first Tuesdays, second Tuesdays, course council on um, the second or third Tuesdays. So your better bet is going to be a Monday or a Wednesday. I would prefer Wednesday. Wednesday. Well, Mondays are not good for me. No, the eighth, June eighth. So can we set it for uh, June eighth? Wednesday. Wednesday, June, June eighth. Seven o'clock. Like I said, that way, if something comes up that we have to revisit budget or redo something, that still gives us a chance. Hopefully, we should be able to get it knocked out in the in the first meeting. So June eighth, Wednesday, June eighth, seven p.m. Okay. okay. Also. Um, I, I gave y'all, I know we finalized it, but I made it pretty. Yeah, I saw it. The application for the waiver for security costs. 
So it's all there, everything we discussed, and it's I'll send it to you in email form so you have it. But it's all there, everything we talked about and approved. Yeah. So it's there, ready to go. Um, like I've done in years past, I can't tell you how many years, um, if you are interested in um, contributing to a basket for, for the PD, which we've done every May, he and I, um, I'll see y'all after the meeting. That's it. Okay. And um, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else we needed to add to the agenda for next meeting. Uh, Monique, wasn't there something earlier we were talking about adding to the next agenda? The application. Oh, the application. And then the presentation. Oh, yes. So you want to put that on the special meeting on June 8th? We can. Yeah. yeah we might as well. Yeah. Right and then we want a presentation from her. Is she it? Well, she, we she has to. to see if they can she has to for our budget. For our, our the budget. Oh yeah. Prices. And then. Are you meeting at seven p.m. or are you moving it up earlier? Seven p.m. Yeah. Okay. You want to try six thirty? Just. So two lane can be here. The six thirty two early for you. That's fine. Can you do 6.30, Mr. Shaw? Yeah. 6.30? Okay. 6.30 on the 8th. Yeah. Chief, um, as far as, I guess, we need to get you on the agenda as far as the, the cartridges and all that stuff like that, if we're going to try to get this on the budget. So we need to have you on the agenda for those items also before we before we get to the budget stuff. So you can kind of fill us in what you found out. Okay. Can we have an update on Junior Academy? Um, on her? Oh, on the agenda? Yeah. Um, Chief, one other question. Uh, would it be possible also, I, I know I'm asking a lot, uh, just for an the, update for the next meeting uh, to have an update on the junior mm -hmm. academy. I have an update. Now, but it's not an it's item. It's not on the agenda. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it on the agenda. Okay. That way, that way you can have all your stuff right. I mean, I'm sure you've got it all in your head, which is normal for you. Mm -hmm. But that way you can have all your. Okay. Very good. So, Miss Monique. So a couple of things. So tomorrow, as we mentioned, is the Kirby anniversary celebration. It's from 5.30 to 7 p.m. in Friendship Park. And what we're going to have, our fire department is going to have a display table with historic photos and memorabilia. And the police department is going to have a historic table. So fire, volunteer fire department board is helping them. We wanted to see if the crime control board would come and help the PD. Um, so that would be me in Friendship Park at 445 tomorrow. You can wear your crown control shirt. I know some of you got the collar shirts made. <coughs> and that would be helping them set that up and command that station. Well, I should have heard these. short. You got a couple of vacation this week, a vacancy. So the chief needs some help with that. So public okay. works will be bringing out the table. We have tablecloths. So all you have to do is help them set it up and manage the station. What time would we need to be out there to help set up? 445. 445. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. Mr. Shaw, Mr. Shaw, you'll be there. I, I, I got to work. I'm loaded with the 100 and something degree temperature and the HVAC business. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm up to here. Yeah, I know the feeling. Can you tell um, everybody to wear this? Yeah. Um, like Stephanie was just saying, I totally agree. I think. Tomorrow we're just going to go with the T-shirts because so we don't how die. hot it's going to be. Uh, that and plus that way you know. Ooh, if you're, did we see the bats? If you're standing around out there and you get under, yeah, they're they're pretty awesome. I won't I, I won't be there that early. She'll be there. She got our back. I got it. I, I won't be there. I'll be there, but be fine. Okay. I'll be there. I'll be there, be there at 10 there. after. I'll be there at 445. I'll be there at 510. I'm sure Mr. Shaw will have nine or 12 people there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
don't know about that many. <laughs> Thank you. Then I have one more announcement. Um, this is going to be Tina's last meeting. Mm. Her last day with the city of Kirby is this Friday. Not approved. Um, so nope. um, we'll put it on the next agenda yeah. to vote on. <laughs> we'll, we'll, vote, we'll vote on it the next agenda. But it's not for the special meeting, so it no. might have to wait till July. It's, it's going to be. We'll put that on our first meeting in July. Yeah. Maybe. She can't come back and just do our meetings? No? <laughs> so it's a shot. That on there as well, but we want to thank her for her service and what she's done for the board and budget. I will miss all of y'all. It's okay. She doesn't love us anymore. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and with that, I will entertain a motion. So moved. Motion for adjournment. Seconded. Meeting adjourned.